Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 11 of Dratnos' Minecraft Technic Pack Let's Play Season 2. If you'll notice over here, I found this map when I was exploring up around here, and uh, I, can, I realize now that I can actually stick it up on a wall. So one of the mods in Technic, or maybe just Vanilla, and I've gotten out of touch with what they're doing in Vanilla, lets you stick maps up against walls, which is, it's pretty cool. So, uh, so there's that, yes. That's, uh, quite exciting, but what's more exciting is some of the things that the villagers have been up to. So if we actually go walk over to our, uh, to our village here, see what they're, uh, what they're do- Hmm. There seem to be some animals running amok in the village, and, uh, the villagers themselves don't seem to be here. Ooh, this is eerie. Um, nobody in that house. Uh... A hole in this house. Whoa. Uh, some, some houses seem to have literally had their walls ripped out. Um, I wonder, I wonder if there's, maybe their, maybe their king is holed up in here against whatever. BRB, creating super pack to protest, protest iron golems. What? Oh, I get it. Because in the newest Minecraft snapshot, the testificates, and their, uh, in Notch's villages, got these iron golems to protect them. And these villagers are angry that they didn't get those. So I guess they've left with all of their money that I got by stim- or that they got by me stimulating their economy. And have, uh, gone to create a super pack to get some candidate in office that'll, uh, get iron golems for the millionaire villagers. That's what- P.S. We took all of our stuff and some of your- Oh. Oh, that's not cool. That is- that is unacceptable. They, they took some of our stuff. How could... How could they do that? Those horrible people. Those meanies. There's only one thing we can do about this. And that is... Quarry their villages. Okay, so, uh... So, plot, plot aside. Um... I was having frame rate issues that, uh... Were constant. Every ten or so seconds, I'd drop to zero frame rate. For about three seconds. And I looked it up, and that, that issue is because of Millinaire. So I disabled Millinaire, and it, uh, it's unfortunate, but it had to happen. And it happens, I think, to everybody once your Millinaire villages get past a certain size. So uh, I hope that they fix that quite soon. But until then, let's go ahead and, uh, and quarry some of these villages that these, uh, these horrible, evil Millinaire villagers have gone and abandoned us alone against the elements here. We'll go ahead and... Uh, ooh, am I... Okay, so, we need to quarry out these villages. Let me gather some supplies that'll help us do that. Now, you might be wondering, Dratnos, why are you doing such a petty thing as quarrying out their villages? And to you, I say, nye, 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 because I'm not being petty, they are being petty. They left. They left me alone in this cold, hard world, except for the uh, testificates in their village over there. So let's go uh, prepare to quarry this village. But if we did the quarry at the same size as uh, these other quarries that we've done, it would take actually forever to get through all of their village stuff. Like if it was this 9x9 block that we have here, or this 9x9 block we have up here, uh, which has finished, by the way. I, I ran it all night last night. It's gotten all the way down to uh, bedrock again. And this time I mined out some of the uh, veins around it. So yeah, that was good. And I've uh, actually taken the quarry. It's in my inventory now. Also, if you were wondering what the bug was last episode, uh, the bug that caused that, sometimes there's an issue if you put uh, teleport pipes close together, apparently. So we're going to have to be careful with that. Um, it's weird. Just be careful. Back up your world before doing stuff. If you do get the same saving chunks error as me, either revert to an earlier backup and hope that you've taken some backups, or use a program like MC Edit to go in and actually move one of your teleport pipes away from the others. And that should fix it. So, what are we going to try to do here? Well, we need a, we need a quarry that will actually span across this whole village and take them out one fell swoop. And the way we're going to do that is using landmarks. So landmarks, uh, you may remember this from episode, I think, 12 of season 1, which you should go watch, it's a good one. Uh, if you don't mind going back in time. Landmarks are used to uh, to denote areas, and then we can then uh, we can set up a quarry that'll that'll mine out those areas. 
so if we go on our precarious little sky bridge that I built uh, off camera, which don't tell me to build this kind of stuff on camera, I'm not going to do it. It's like sky bridges and really boring to watch. We stick a, uh, a little landmarky here. Go up a bit, stick a little landmarky here and right click. They form a link. Then if we head on over here, the end of our target area. Take a look, see if we can uh, make the bond here. We go ahead and just stick this here, this here, one of you here. There it is, you see we've now defined an area, a two-dimensional area. It's still two dimensions, even though it's uh, up and down. Ooh. Uh, okay, that looked like it was on fire, but it's just a torch. That looked very cool for a second, but I guess it's not anything super cool. Then if we head over here, we can change that area into a volume by adding a, uh, let's see, by adding one of these guys, like, here. Uh, am I right? Have I? No, I'm not quite right. I'm, I'm a bit off, actually. Let's go ahead and grab some cobble, stick it here. Take our delightful little landmark. Is here right? Uh... Okay, no, that's a bit low. We need to be up one more, I think. There it is. So we've defined ourselves a nice little area. Let's go ahead and just uh, block off. Actually, probably want to block off the lava here so that it doesn't get in the way of our delightful quarry. Okay. So there's our area all defined. And if we go ahead and now prepare the quarry over here, plonk that down. You'll notice it's now dropped those landmarks. Uh, I'll... Yeah, I'll go retrieve them. Uh, they'll, they should have dropped... They'll, th those ones will have dropped down onto the ground. Let's go take a look. Should... Have they? <clears throat> have they? Have they? Landmarks? You hear? You hear? You hear, guys? Landmarks? Landmarks? This is not funny. Okay, I guess we'll take the loss of a few landmarks. They died uh, serving us unnecessarily quarrying out some uh, old villagers' homes. Got a nom on some bread so we can sprint around again. And up we go again to our quarry. And we'll just go ahead and get it set up so that it's working while we do the rest of the stuff we're going to do this episode. Which, uh, some of it's really cool, so stick around for that. It's going to be good times. It's going to be very good times. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's see. So, we need power coming in. Go ahead and stick our power teleport pipe here. Actually, wait, we should put the conductive pipe first to stop the bug. Um, we should put the conductive pipe after we set the frequency to stop the bug. It, I know it's confusing. I think it's 23, can receive true. No, uh, 11 can receive true. I think 11. Yeah, 11 is probably the right one. Let's go ahead and check. Oh, wait, we need to, of course, set up our wireless transmitter so that it'll uh, go ahead and tell us to be sending some power to this. Once we can see a thousand, click, and this should begin firing. Yep, raise the power in. Good. There it is. There it's starting to clear out the area, you'll see. This is going to take a while to do this quarry, but it's nice because then we can just leave for a while and uh, know that it'll still be working even if we're in the nether, for example. So we'll go ahead and add a chunk loading block here. Keep this area all nice and loaded. Stick an item teleport pipe. I'm going to actually use a bit of a cobblestone teleport pipe first off to distance it from the other teleport pipe, the, the uh, power one. And also because uh, it just seems like a good idea so that we can Let's go ahead and do that far. And I think that's the one that's on frequency 23. Yeah, and it shouldn't be able to receive. Okay, uh, is that everything? That looks like everything we needed. Looks like it's getting dark. Um, I'm going to go switch it over to day. And actually, I think now we can just head on upstairs and uh, do the rest of the stuff we wanted to do. But uh, hopefully before it gets dark and scary outside, because when it's dark and scary, I get, I get scared. I get very scared, especially now that there are no millionaire villagers to, to die instead of me. No, nothing for the zombies to eat but, well, but me. And I don't want to be eaten. Let's go ahead and just run up here. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Got my sword out in case we get attacked. Are we going to get attacked? 
Ooh, no, okay, we didn't get attacked. We're all good. I'm very paranoid. I am, I'm a super paranoid camper. Okay, so let's do some forestry stuff. Today we're going to make a tree farm that'll allow us to automatically farm trees. Because that seems like a good idea. So in here is where we're going to set it up. Let's just go ahead and uh, plonk down a nice little torch in the middle. Over there we go. Um, how are we doing on our... Okay, our rubber boots have enough durability. So, uh, our tree farm is going to be using a few different forestry items. The first thing we're going to want is an arboretum. Arboretum. Let's go ahead and figure out how we make those. Okay, we need some gold ingots, and we're going to also need some bronze ingots. Let's go ahead and head into our main room here. Grab a little bit of gold. Here are... Uh, nether portal in our now completed engine room here it's a bit scary maybe that's where the villagers went to maybe that's where super packs are made if you don't know what a super pack is it's a uh, it's the new american political lobbying group thing it, it's a strange law that uh is a bit convoluted but it's eh. i can see both sides of the argument on it okay uh we've got our gold ingots we need to gather some bronze ingots i think i've got some in here yeah i happen to have 18 Okay, so we've got our gold, we've got our bronze, we need some glass, and the bronze we need for this sturdy machine in the middle, which is made like that. We have glass? Okay, yes, we do. So we should be able to just go in here, make ourselves a sturdy machine, and make ourselves an arboretum. There it is. We're also going to need a logger. Now this logger is going to cost us four diamond, which is uh, always a difficult loss, but we'll go ahead and take it. It's going to cost us four diamond and another sturdy machine. Let me go ahead and just show you the recipe for logger. Sturdy machine, four glass, four diamond. Okay. There's our logger. Okay. And we're going to need a few, uh, a few build craft, build craft engines. We'll go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone engine. You know what? We'll use redstone engines for all of these because I think they're good enough. I'm not sure, actually. Let me, let's see. Ah, yeah. Okay. We'll give, we'll give him a go. It should be fine. I, th I think, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Shouldn't be a problem. We'll use, we'll go ahead and, and make this out of uh, redstone engines. So we'll grab the gears we need. Where's, where's wooden gear? There it is. We've got the gears. We've got the glass. We need to make a piston, which means we need some iron to make our redstone engine. Because uh, these loggers and arboretums are powered with engines, with buildcraft engines. They're designed to interface very well with buildcraft, so that's what they do. So let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves two more sets of wooden gears. And can we make ourselves pistons? What do we need for pistons? We need some redstone, don't we? Yeah, we don't have any redstone dust. All right, can we make pistons now? Uh, we need cobblestone. Let's go grab cobblestone. Ooh, let's see how, many, how much cobblestone we have from our old quarry. Uh, ooh, that chest is fully filled up. That chest is almost filled up, so nice. Let's go ahead and take from here. Take a stack and a half. Seems like a reasonable proposition. And we should be able to make two pistons now. Um, piston, piston, piston. Where is piston? There's piston. Piston, piston. And we should be able to make two redstone engines now. Yep, redstone engine, redstone engine. Okay, so we have three redstone engines now, which is as much as we're going to need. Do we have any, uh, what, what else are we going to need? We're going to need some wooden transport pipes, some cobblestone transport pipes, uh, an item teleport pipe. And uh, I think that'll be all we'll need for now. Let's go ahead and just double check through all this stuff. Are we going to need, uh, are we going to need any of this? I don't think so. Okay. So there's uh, the Arboretum and the Logger. Basically, the Arboretum, when you stick it down, the way it works is it, it uh, takes hummus and saplings and will automatically plant trees on any hummus, as long as it still has hummus and saplings, and it'll start outputting sand. Um, and that's just, it sand is a byproduct that it'll produce and output into a uh, buildcraft pipe. Then the logger, which is uh, the item that I'm holding right now, the logger will cut down the trees automatically as long as it's given buildcraft power. It'll output the saplings, uh, apples, and logs. So, let's 
Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's see, what else are we gonna need for this? I think we might need... And no, we should be good with this. Okay, I think we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and t test this out. So, uh, first we're gonna need to make some hummus for the soil, because hummus is a, basically a better kind of soil. So for that we're gonna need some appetite, we're gonna need some sand, and we're gonna need some dirt. So, over here, we'll go ahead and just make some hummus following this recipe. That's fertilizer. Get some nice uh, bunches of fertilizer. Stick the fertilizer in the middle. Stick the dirt around the edges. And you can produce hummus. Delightful. A few good stacks of hummus there. Go ahead and use up all this dirt to make some hummus. There we go. Uh, that should be good. That's about 100 hummus. Uh, we probably will need a bit more hummus. Hummus is kind of the input that's going to lock our machine up a bit here. So we'll need to eventually find a way to automate that. I think we can do that pretty easily. For now, we're just going to have partial automation, as it was at first with our quarries, for example. So there's hummus being uh, placed down. This is where we're going to do the stuff. I'm not sure if we can walk on hummus or not, but I'm going to just walk on it anyway. Ooh, see how exciting it is seeing me fill up an empty space? But at least this is a Technic item. It's not like uh, just cobblestone or dirt. In we go. Almost full. Okay, so we need the Arboretum in the center, and the Logger a bit close to the center as well. The Arboretum is going to need saplings there, and hummus here, so we'll go ahead and stick the hummus there. Let's go grab some saplings. We can make extra hummus with our appetite, sand, and dirt later. But we've got saplings, I think, in this box here. We're gonna go ahead and use, uh, what kind of sapling? We'll use pine saplings, because we have 14 of those. That seems reasonable. That should be enough to start our farm up. So we'll head over here, where it's uh, nice and hummusy. Stick the saplings in there, and if we power this now with buildcraft power, uh, is that enough? Okay. So I guess redstone engines aren't strong enough to power these things. Let's go ahead and grab some steam engines for testing purposes. This is going to be a very much a not automated system yet, but it's, uh, it's going to be, we're going to take steps over the next few episodes to make it that way. So let's grab uh, our steam engine. Run back over this way. Just test to see if we can, uh, we can get this arboretum going. There we go, and we'll stick some charcoal in there. Shloop! So that should plant a sapling somewhere. Maybe not. The Arboretum... Theoretically, if everything is, is going to work correctly, should begin automatically... Uh, automatically placing saplings in our hummus area. Perhaps it doesn't take pine saplings. Okay, let's go ahead and de-charcoalize it. And instead, let's go grab are one non-pine sapling. Hopefully that'll be enough to, uh, to get this thing going. Where are you, our one non-pine sapling? And over this way we go. I think we'll end up just uh, using more electrical power and teleporting it over here eventually as well. Okay, so sapling into here. And on the next stroke it should plant that. Are you not are you not powered enough? Supply it with both both hummus or saplings. It should be laying down the soil now. Maybe it maybe it's laying down soil below ground. No, it it's not laying down any hummus. Maybe we can't plant the hummus ourselves. 
Oops. Ouch, there goes uh, some of our durability on rubber boots. Let's head on back upstairs. Up we go. And it doesn't seem to be filling that in either. That's very strange. Perhaps steam powers even don't give it enough energy to run. Um. Huh. Oh, it's going. It's going. It's going. It's working. Um, there, it's doing stuff. It's operating. It's destroying our, our marble, but that's okay. Let's go have a sleep and see what it does now, because now it's operating. It should be, it should be working. It should be in working mode. Sleep time. You'll notice our, uh, our big quarry over there is still clearing out stuff. Let's go have a, a zoom in look at what it's doing exactly. Uh, it's still just taking out, it looks like. Oh uh, yeah, it's clearing out the frame on that side of basalt. Okay. We're going to have an influx of, of basalt. Actually, you know what we should do? We should make an overclocking thing so that our, um, an overclock upgrade so our, yeah, can we do this? Coolant cell? Oh no, we can't make coolant cells yet because we need to compress that and we don't have a compressor. Actually, we could make a compressor, couldn't we? And that, But then we'd need... Huh. Oh no. Water cell? How do we make a water cell into a... Okay, no, a water cell just in an extractor. Do we have... No, okay. Anyway, we'll do that next episode. It'll be fine. It'll be all fine. We'll overclock our engine or our electricity thing next episode. Okay, what's this doing now? What on earth are you doing? Okay, we didn't power it. Let's go ahead and power it up. Gosh, I hope, hope it doesn't idle again. Is it actually doing anything? Nope, doesn't look like it. I guess it takes a little while to warm up. Let's prepare our logger. Uh, our logger is just going to need build craft power as well. We'll go ahead and just supply that with three redstone engines. Like that. And we'll just go ahead and around like that. And around like that. Why? Why you know redstone? Why you know? Why you know fire? Redstone engines. Huh? That that engine doesn't even have particle effects around it, does it? These ones. Oh, there they go. There, that one's going. It's going. It's going. It's working. It's operating. It's moving. Things are happening. Stuff's going on. Uh, we need redstone that points at this, don't we? Okay. So instead, let's go around like this, like that, like that. There it is. So this redstone now has engine and should... S These engines now should start firing. Theoretically. Okay, the one of these is pumping at least. That should be enough. Go ahead and get rid of this and this and assume that that's enough to, to power the logger for now. Go ahead and stick that one back, because that was the important one. Come on. Come on, little guy. You can do it. You were doing it before. Man. Do we need more of these? I guess we need to almost power all of them. I don't even know how this works. I'm just going to not touch it next time. It looks like it's working. It needs to be like this, right? Okay, yeah, one of them's firing. That's good. We'll we'll call that a win. We'll we'll call this a win. We'll call this a definite win. The Arboretum, how's it working? Is it still uh Okay, it's still let's clear out some of this for it. It looks like it wants to just destroy all of this. So that's okay. We'll let it do that. What's it gonna do now? What's the Arboretum gonna do now? Let's go grab that stick. The perilous jump. Okay, the Arboretum should still be uh, trying to work here. I wonder what it's going to do next. Maybe it's still just trying to operate and figure out what's going on. 
We'll leave it for a little while. Let's see. Okay. Are we building our frame over there yet? Away we go. Let's see what's happening with our quarry at long range here. It's... Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's building the, the frame at a nice fast rate because we have an electrical engine powering it. So that's good. Let's head back to our Arboretum and see if it's gotten anything done in the past few minutes. And by minutes, I mean seconds. You doing okay, Arboretum? How you doing? You doing all right? Yeah? Doing okay? You sure? You sure, Arboretum? Let me, let me go ahead and just take some hummus out of you. Very briefly, because I think we might need some. Yeah. Does that do anything for you, Arboretum? Does that... Does that make you happy, Arboretum? Huh? Arboretum? Doing okay, Arboretum? You, you feeling fine? You, you, you look stressed, Arboretum. Is, is there something is something wrong? Is this... that Okay, that's still firing fine. These are all still firing fine. Ooh, this is uh, now starting to go a little bit faster. That's nice. It's... Uh, that should be... Some, something should be going down. Why is nothing going down? Uh. Maybe it's fine if we stick wooden blocks here. How will it react to those? So I know that we want something with, like, light coming here. Ooh, is that one block? One block, yeah, okay. Is that going to help at all? You doing okay, Arboretum? You sure? You sure now, Arboretum? You sure you're not going to, you know, work? That would be great if you could do some working. That would be actually really amazing if you could start doing something here. Oh, hey, all the things, all the engines here are working on the logger now. Um, but that's no good to us, because... The Arboretum isn't working. Okay. So, if anybody knows exactly how to get this thing to work, let me know. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Make it uh, clean and simple for me to spell out, for me to understand. Link me to a page, maybe. Send me a message. Because I know there are a bunch of people that keep trying in badly worded ways to get me to do stuff, and they say, you know, use items such and such, and I have absolutely no idea what they're talking about a lot of the time. A lot of the time... I do like 30 minutes of hunting and find out they're talking about an item that's not even in the Technic pack. So, if you could please, you know, elaborate, use complete sentences, maybe a bit of grammar to help me understand what you mean, that'd be great. So, I guess, uh, I guess since we've achieved nothing here and that's going to achieve stuff by itself, let's let's have an excursion into the Nether. What's the worst that could happen? You know, we'll just probably get exploded. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop off our diamond stuff. Let's go ahead and let's prepare to do an excursion into the nether. We'll make this a nice long episode for everybody, because I know that uh, a lot of the first stuff there was not stuff that was exciting for everyone. Let's go ahead and just dump things uh, into here and here, like you. Uh, we'll stick the fertilizer in the appetite area, stick, stick the lapis in there. Don't need a clock, let's stick that in here. Uh, dirt, we've got extra. Cobble, or we should keep a stack, maybe. Uh, let's throw our iron and gold back where we got it. Iron here. Gold here. Let's go have another check of our system over here and make sure nothing's overheating. Ah! Oh, oh my goodness, look, look at that, look at that. It's, it's done it. It's fired up the... Okay. Okay. Okay, it's gonna work. It's, it's gonna work. Um. Alright. New plan. Let's go ahead and prepare this so that it will work fine. Actually, I, I imagine if it puts those saplings up there, it would have put the others up there in time. So let's go let's go grab those other saplings and just see if it'll do that for us. See, see, this is always what happens. I prepare to go on like a, an excursion to the nether, and then the game decides to get itself in shape. Where'd I put the other saplings? Oh, well, of course I had them in my inventory the whole time. So that's nice. Go uh, check this out here. So it's planted the other sapling. All of these are starting to...
come a few different colors. Ooh, there it is. There's some planting. Hey, and they're all being regular saplings. Nice. That is pretty cool. So I guess the uh, Arboretum has finally decided that it's uh, time to work. So, let's uh, prepare an output sorting mechanism now for this stuff. Um, okay. So the Arboretum is going to be outputting sand on either side, but since, since the sand will store here, that's fine. The logger, on the other hand, I'm going to go ahead and delete one of these. Hope that these still keep working. Yeah, they will. Okay, give us a little bit of space to work with uh, some things. So the logger is going to be dropping from the sides. It's going to drop logs, and from the top, it's going to drop saplings and apples. So let's go uh, prepare ourselves to receive saplings and apples. Um, here's the plan for that. Let's grab an advanced insertion pipe. We'll grab some stone pipes. We'll grab an iron pipe. I don't think we'll need wooden pipes here. We'll need a teleport pipe. Um, that should be good. So from the sides of the logger are going to come the logs. So we'll just set up an item teleport pipe that'll instantly... Ooh, it's getting dark again. Wow, days, uh, days sure do pass quickly when you're, having, uh, when you're having fun. Go ahead and nom on some more bread. So from the sides, we'll just have that instantly teleport things over to our main base. I think that's on frequency 23. Can receive as false. So that'll just teleport the logs to be sorted in there, which will be great. And then from the top, we're going to want things to come up. Attempt to be inserted in here. Oops, so we we're going to want that. And then if it can't be inserted, we'll go ahead and have it come up. And up. And over, and over, and down, and down, and iron here, and down again. Okay, so that'll move it here where it'll teleport it over anyway. So this should work. I think this will work. We'll go ahead and uh, go sleep so that we don't get any mobs spawning up here, because I, I still haven't really tested it out and made sure that mobs don't spawn up here. Which you'd think would be a good idea, but... Uh, it's obviously not a high priority of mine. I usually try and avoid mobs as much as possible because I don't like them. So, what's our quarry up to? Oh, hey, it's starting. Wow, it's so far over there that we can't even see all the stuff. Let's go take a look at what's... Uh... Okay, nothing, nothing exciting is happening over there. Let's, let's go see what's happening here. Ah, the quarry is just dropping down for the first time, so we should start seeing stuff coming in any minute now. Any minute now. Any minute now. Any minute now. And any minute now. Any minute now. Okay, let's go check up on our quarry. Make sure that everything's uh, okay in quarry land. It's an important thing to do. So this weekend is our Tribes Ascend game day. If you uh, don't have Tribes Ascend, you can get in on it. It's going to be free to play when it comes out. And the beta has just opened up for everybody. So if you just go to like tribesascend.com, you can sign up, uh, download the game really easily. It's completely free to play. You can uh, pay to buy items, but you don't need them. They're almost always side grades and not upgrades anyway. So, uh, so do that and you can play with us. I think the game days are going to be Saturday night and Sunday day. So do that and play with, uh, play with me, add me as a friend, and then send me a PM with your username and I'll add you as a friend because we both need to add each other as friends, and then I'll try and join your games. Um, so Saturday night, Sunday during the day, some combination of those, I'll announce it on my Twitter like 10 minutes before I go online. Ooh, that's a slime. That was easy. That was kind of disappointingly easy. So about 10 minutes before I go online, I'll just put it up on, on my Twitter, my, my Dratnos Twitter that's in the uh, description below, which you should follow, by the way, and you should like my Facebook because they're both awesome. Um, here's our old quarry uh, that we should be very careful of stepping down. Nice. So yes, uh, let's check to make sure that these are porting nicely. Shoop. Yep, okay, it's porting. Nice. Everything's looking good on the uh, on that front. Let's go take a look at what's happening on our other fronts. 
So yes, Tribes Ascend game day this weekend, 25th, 26th. Uh, Saturday night, Pacific time. Probably like, I don't know, 9.30 p.m. Pacific time to like 11.30 p.m. Pacific time. And Sunday during the day, I don't know what time, but maybe lots of the day, we'll be, uh, we'll be playing Tribes Ascend. I might record a few of the games and then stick them up over the next week as well. Okay, how's this doing? Ooh. I don't remember I don't remember this one being planted before. Or that one for that matter. Uh how's this doing? Still got all the hummus? Okay, so I guess because I think the hummus gets depleted as soon as a tree is made with an arboretum. Um Let's go grab some more wooden planks just to complete our frame around there. Ooh, I hear some processing happening. Oh, that's the basalt being smelted. Yep, that's fine. Splendid. Splendid. You know what? Cause I'm I'm feeling nice. I'm feeling a long episode today. I'm feeling that'll that'll work out fine. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade our our um electric engine or our electric uh furnace now. So we'll go do that while this gets working. Uh, and we'll be down in the machine area anyway, so we can see when that starts working. So in order to upgrade our electrical engine, which is here, you'll notice that all this basalt is coming in and that's gonna quickly create an overflow here. It's already starting to pile up. So we need an overclocker upgrade. That's made with coolant cells, copper cable, electronic circuit. So how do you make a coolant cell? Well, you need a water cell and an extractor. So how do you make a water cell? Well, you need empty cells and water buckets. So we can do all that. Let's do that. Let's grab some tin. Let's grab some iron. Let's grab some uh, refined iron. I think that's all we're going to need, uh, besides some copper as well. Okay, this should be good. So let's make ourselves uh, yeah, empty cells with four tin like that. Let's grab a bucket. We're going to need a few buckets. We're gonna, let's grab three buckets so we can easily... Oops, there's shears. Okay, we've got our empty buckets. We'll just stick them here. Let's head down and fill these up. Thick. And we'll just go over here quickly, mine out a bit of space. And bucket. 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 Nice. So combining these buckets and our just-made empty cells, we can make water cells, which is an industrial craft recipe. As soon as we can head back up here, of course. Into the spaceship once more we go. Let's close that up. And let's go make ourselves the water cells. Okay. So, in order to, uh, to make now our, coolant, our water cells into coolant cells, we need an extractor. I destroyed my old extractor by accident. I removed it incorrectly and just got a machine block. So we're going to need our machine block, four new tree taps, and an electronic circuit. Electronic circuit, of course, will require... Let's, let's remember that. Electronic circuit requires redstone, refined iron, and copper cables. Do we have extra copper cables in here? Yes, but not enough. And we need to get a bit of rubber. Go ahead and stick some pipes back in here. Some copper cables, and we should be able to make, yep, electronic circuit. What did we need the electronic circuit for again? We needed the electronic circuit for something. Oh yeah, for the extractor. So we need a few tree taps, uh, which means we're going to need to empty a bit of inventory again. Let's go ahead and just stick some shears in here, our landmark in here, and the empty cells. A few, two new tree taps, and we should be able to make, there it is, an extractor. Okay. Extractor all in our inventory. So we'll go ahead and head downstairs, power up our extractor. Let's go ahead and return our buckets to iron by sticking them in an alloy furnace and powering this up. This will slowly convert them back to iron, which is a nice little perk added by the red power mod. How are we doing on time here? Not good on time. Not good on time at all. Okay. So this is our uh, low voltage transformer again. I'm just going to stick our extractor right here so it powers up immediately. We'll go ahead and extract the water cells here. And they're going to turn into uh, coolant cells. 
So that's that part done. What do we need now for the rest of our overclocker upgrade? Overclock. Overclocker upgrade. Copper cables and the electronic circuit. Let's go get those ready. So we can do an instant transfusion. Uh, we have copper cables. We need an electronic circuit, which means we need some more copper cables. And there's our electronic circuit. All right. We're ready to make the overclocker upgrade as soon as our coolant cells are ready. Let's go head down to our extractor and uh, grab them as soon as they come out. Okay, there's one made. Take it out. We can start the second one. Ooh, we're not doing good here. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose a bit of time. I'm just gonna grab half of this stack here. So the overclocker upgrade is going to increase the speed of our um, delightful machine. However, it's also going to reduce the efficiency, which means it's better to just have multiple machines next to each other for complete for better efficiency. But if you just want more speed with one machine, you can uh, stick this here. So let me let me give you some of the math here. As soon as I take out this coolant cell. Each overclocker clocker upgrade reduces the operating time to 70% of the previous time. Let me kill this turtle. There's the dead turtle. Nice. So each overclocker upgrade will increase or will reduce the time to 70% of the time before that. But increase energy consumption by 50%. Um, and they'll each stack exponentially. So are we ready on our coolant cell here? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go fire this up and see if that'll... Uh, mean that we can keep up with constant incoming basalt. If not, we'll need to make another one. Overclocker upgrade. There it is. See, I'm holding it in my hand now. And if we go ahead and just stick that in the upgrade slot here. There it is. Things are going to work a little bit faster. 44, 45. 44. Was anything else be coming through at that point in time? Or have we, have we beaten this? 44. 45, 44. 45. 44. 45. 46. Oh no, we're going to need another one. Okay. So in order to, beat, to make this so that we can extract faster than, uh, than incoming basalt can stack up, we're going to have to make another one. And we've gone ahead and, of course, turned our, our copper, or our buckets back into iron. Let's make our self into buckets again quickly prepare to go down and grab a bit more so that we can have a system that is much more truly automated actually i think it's probably enough for an episode i'll do that off camera you've seen me do that process already here's our machine it's still working it's gonna have a bit of a backlog on uh, on basalt although not nearly as bad anymore now that we have an overclocker upgrade let's go check out on our arboretum before we end the episode I, wow this has been like a, a 45 minute episode so uh gee Oh, there it is. Okay, stuff's, stuff's grown. Let's see if our logger's working. Uh, let's just take a quick nap here. A little bit of a nap. Tiny nap. That's like the third nap. Wow, it's, a, it's been a long episode. Very much a long episode. And over to our arboretum slash tree farm we go. Oh, yeah, there's something. Something's been logged. Unless that was like an enderman. I don't think it was, though. So unless these are just really slow... That should have teleported the wood. So let's go take a look and see if we've got some new wood into our, uh, into our box. No, okay, nothing new in there. Maybe it's in the system somewhere. Should have teleported in here. Gone over here. Aha, that could... It could have put it into our miscellaneous chest. Let's take a look. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it has been. Because we didn't have the right kind of wood in our sorter. Let's add this kind of wood here. And of course it goes along the red to where it gets sorted here. There we go. So now, now we should be adding this automatically in. And let's go ahead and grab enough charcoal to just quickly fill up the machine. Now this one actually it should be self-sustaining if we fill it up with automatic charcoal because it's creating charcoal basically. It's because uh, it's, uh, you know, it's creating thingy. There, it, yeah, just cut one off. Nice. Let's go ahead and power you up with some more charcoal. So there's our automatic uh, tree farm now, added by the red or the uh, forestry mod, which is designed to work very well with Buildcraft, and it is indeed doing just that. You can see our, our simple setup here. We could add another thing called a uh, a catalyst or a uh, a what's it called a forester, which uses catalyst to make this process much faster. Go ahead and check. Are we getting extra saplings? How far is... 
yeah, this is a new sapling. The last one is only there. So this is going to sustain indefinitely as long as we keep it supplied with hummus, which I'll do manually and then set up automatically in one of the coming episodes. Next episode, we're, we're going to go to the nether. We're going to get the glowstone that we so desperately need. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Tribes Ascend Game Day tomorrow. Remember to check that out. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you like this content. And uh, there's some of the wood that's being made from our automatic uh, wood farm now. Goodbye.